beside a central Otago lakeage highway, a lone relic of the gold fields lies rusting quietly. This giant metal beam was cast aside here in the early 1990s and both it and its history have slowly drifted out of public awareness. It lies here awaiting its fate. Today the beam rises once again into public visibility and into a new role. But what is this beam? Where has it been and where does it go to? The beam was part of the Gold Light, a gold mining dredge that first worked at Waikaka in Southland. It was later moved to a claim at Bendigo, where it worked in the 1930s. At the conclusion of this role, the dredge was broken up and scrapped, its parts reused elsewhere. No sign of the gold light dredge remains now, except for this massive 30 ton, 30 metre long beam which formed the bucket ladder, the arm that the dredge's chain of ore buckets once traversed. In the early 1970s, the beam was given a new role. This time it would serve as a footbridge to an island on the Clutha River. As part of a Lions Club project, a picnic area was established at this safe swimming backwater. The beam was relocated to Lion Island, where it was given a concrete footpath and handrails to serve visitors to this once popular tree shaded site. Time rolled on again and a government decision was made to dam the Clutha River at Clyde and to create a hydroelectric power station. The resulting hydro lake, Lake Dunstan, would flood the Lion Island area, so a part of the lake edge development in the early 1990s, the bridge was shifted up the riverbank above the new lake level. It is here that the beam has rested until today. Through cooperation between the Otago Goldfields Heritage Trust, the Central Lakes Trust, the Department of Conservation and contractor Fulton Hogan, a plan was implemented to restore the gold light bucket arm to its original Bendigo site. At Bendigo, little remains of the original Gold Rush town, a restored stone bakery being the main visible sign. However, adjacent to the town, there is a wide crater in the gravelly terrain. The crater was once the Bendigo Gold Light Dredge Pond. The new home of the Bucket Arm is to overlook the dredge pond and form part of an interpretation display for the area. The Fulton Hogan Company demonstrated admirable skill in relocating the bucket arm, but this was not the first time the company had worked with the gold light dredge. In a curious twist of fate, Messrs Fulton and Hogan 
had taken up one of their first contracts here as a company. They had used a drag line to create the original pond for the gold light. The Bendigo Gold Light Dredge was not a commercial success. However, in its new role as an observation platform in the Bendigo Historic Reserve, it will help tell another story in the wide-ranging history of the central Otago goldfields.